Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can download the Human Resistant mod for Universal War and play it yourself without it crashing or not having all the features available that you want it. We're just going to jump straight into it, all you want to do, first of all, download this release version of the mod. Once you've done that, you want to go into your downloads and you want to extract it right here. And then a crucial part of this is you want to go to your local disk and make a mods folder straight onto it. It cannot be in your program files or any other place or else this will this mod will not work. Once you've made that, you want to move your human resistance mod folder straight into there. And then the second part of what you want to do is you want to download the first patch for the game. Notice I've got a second one installed. Do not actually get anything other than the first patch. If you download the second or the third and run them, they will just disable the mod straight away. You cannot do it. I'll provide a download link in the description for it. Uh, once you, you've got to run that, once you've installed Universal War on your system. And then an optional thing you can do is go to the launch and troubleshoot the compatibility if you're on Windows 10. Windows 10 has a lot of trouble actually running a lot of old disks. So you want to run the compatibility and for me it's given Windows Vista Service Pack 2. It might be something different for you, but it's optional. First, do try it with the Windows 10 base version. But then, I've used Steam, and you want to go to add a non-Steam game to my library. Go to Browse, find your launch, EXE, add the selected program, find it in your library, go to Properties, and then Set Launch Options. You want to type in all capitals so far, mod path equals then you want to go back to your local disk or whatever you've saved it on find your mod folder human resistance then you want to copy the address as text and paste it in there and you should be good to go that is all you need to do to get it to work so let's test it Sega. Skip all this, don't need to watch that. Now, when this comes up, do not update. Whatever you do, that will disable it straight away. So, this is not what you want, obviously. I don't know what that's for. Scratches, battle setup. Uh, it doesn't matter what you pick, just a test, and there you go. You have now added the human faction to your game. So let's just launch it just to make sure it works. So far so good. Start it up and there you go. You have got Uh, if, if it doesn't work for you, leave a comment, we'll try and figure it out. Armor at the ready. The one reason I couldn't have had this working before is because I only actually got the mod to load up on the menu. This. This only came up for me. It, the team didn't actually come up for me in Skirmish Battles because I didn't run the compatibility and I didn't run the uh, files on the local disk itself. Like, I didn't put the mod folder straight onto it. And that was crucial in making it work. So thanks all for watching and see you.